a celebrity is a very crazy one, and you would agree with me that celebrities sometimes sit down in the comfort of their homes imagining what life would be like if that one thing that had made them a star didn't happen. Sometimes, just sometimes, they fantasize life with a regular person without the cameras being shoved up their faces or the media having one evil lot to say about their activities. In rare cases, we hear about celebrities eloping from their life as a normal star, as a star to be a normal, regular human roaming around the earth. There are other times celebrities wish they knew a spell to make the world just forget about the particularly unpleasant events. Alas, that's just wishful thinking. Or maybe we would have forgotten about events and we have no memory of them. Well, Selena hasn't found the spell to do that trick, and just before she does, let's dive into the parts of her life that she would have wished we have no memory of. I believe you have subscribed to this channel and have our post notifications turned on. If you haven't, do subscribe, turn on our post notification, and remember to share the video with friends. Do hit up the comment section and tell us what event you think we should help Selena by forgetting. We'll be reading. That one time she stormed off Jingle Bell stage. <laughs> Do you remember the Jingle Bell saga with Selena Gomez? At 22, Selena Gomez had issues with technicality. During the Friday night program, all but the sound was perfect. The sound sounding so wacky had Selena stopping midway through her performance and telling the crowd, sorry, the sound isn't working. Are you guys having a good night? I promise a lot cooler people here are gonna come out tonight. Is it okay if I perform two more songs and you guys can get to it? But the sound didn't get any better. Going over the scenario now, one can easily understand how frustrated Selena must have been at this point having rehearsed day and night to the end that she delivers a high pitch performance. One can understand her feelings at least this time. As the show continued with bad sound, she finally decided to call it quits, storming off midway even before her set was completed. As the action got people confused and angry, what it did for the public was the fact that she uttered some swear words in the presence of young children who took a larger percentage of the guests present. That time she indecently dressed. A lot of celebrities have been slammed for their dressing time and time again, and not surprisingly, the come and get it singer is not left out of this. While on vacation with Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, Cody Simpson, and Shay Mitchell, Selena was spotted in a picture she had posted of herself. The picture was taken in a mosque, but that was not the problem. The problem was her dressing. In the picture that was taken in a mosque in Dubai, her dress revealed quite a rather large part of her skin and people got talking. The picture was seen as disrespectful to the religion and those of the culture. Not only did that one particular lecture piss off the public, but it was more like a bunch of pictures taken by the group on December 29th since they were seen laughing, smiling, and goofing off. Rihanna did something of this magnitude and was reportedly thrown out of the premise since the mosques prohibit such type of actions. That time she was accused of lip singing. In 2015, after the Victoria's Secrets fashion show, even though people felt her performance was top notch, members of the public seemed to think otherwise. It all started after Victoria's Secrets posted a couple of images from her supposed sexy performance and comments surfaced accusing the singer of lip singing. Okay, to be honest, this was very insulting on a lot of grounds. She did not waste time debunking this allegation by writing just one declarative statement. Yes, I f***ing sing live. You can understand how shocking and annoying it could have been for her to come out and reply to all those allegations. No artist wants to be accused of lip singing to their song and not during a live performance. That time with the Bindi controversy. During the MTV Music Awards in 2013, Selena Gomez was once again trolled about her dressing just like the time where she was dressing in a mosque in Dubai. She was painted for cultural appropriation. To perform her hit Come and Get It, Selena came on stage wearing a fashionable bindi and hence performed her song in it. A lot of people believe that she didn't understand the meaning of the importance of the bindi and she was trolled for using it as fashionable wear without proper understanding of the use of it. A bindi is considered a sacred symbol in Hinduism. As the issue kept expanding, gaining more negative views and comments, leaders went as far as demanding an apology from the artist for making the use of the symbol. And in a bid to reply to them, she addressed the whole saga on the Z100 morning show. She said, I think that song has a Hindi tribal feel and I wanted to translate that. I've been learning about my bindi and the culture and it's beautiful. 
The almost unending feud with Miley Cyrus. It is no news that the duo was at it for quite a while, even though they seem to share some kind of bond now. And if you can guess right, you most definitely think it started about some boy. The Disney stars got into it when Miley started seeing the pop star singer Nick Jonas. But some things do not last, this ship sailed quite fast, the duo got right into it after Miley broke things off with Nick and started seeing Selena Gomez post Miley Jonah breakup. The undeniable hard feeling was obvious to even the blind and Selena taunted Miley. She once said in an interview that she was in love and that she was going to marry him, but she agrees that it was just the young lover's wishful thinking and excitement. However, this is all in the past now and they have buried their fight and moved on from Nick Jonas and moved on with their individual lives. When she was called ugly. In 2018, a particular popular fashion social media page was under the username the Catwalk Italia, took to their Instagram page and posted five dresses worn by the singer. The handler captioned that the picture hashtag Selena Gomez rocks red dresses. Choose your fave from one, two, three, four, or five. Of course, fans took the comment section to pour out sweet words about the pictures and their idol picking the dress that they felt good with. All was fine till one Italian designer, Stefano Gabbana, took on the comment section and dropped a comment. Though his comment e propertura, meaning she's really ugly or she's horrid, fans were quick to defend their idol as they called out the designer for online bullying. But Selena's name was caught in the crossfire. The sex tape controversy. It is no secret to anyone that Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez dated. On and off in an irregular pattern that has made it hard for people to keep up with their breakup times and getting back together times. Even though the pair is done for good now, those years were undoubtedly traumatic for both of them and Selena seemed to have had it worse. While they were together, an insider close to the What Do You Mean singer made it known that amidst their relationship unbalances, the young lovers enjoyed making videos of their sexual activities. No one expected that of the duo since the relationship was never stable. Sex tape or no sex tape, the story took the internet by storm as people debated drag, criticized the couple till no end. The not too good comment on BLM. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian always had a thing or two to say about Taylor Swift mostly negative comments. There are in fact blog posts and YouTube videos that tell of these bad vibes between them and when they got at it again, Selena tried to step up defending Swift, but that was kind of a bad idea. It wasn't wrong to have tried to defend her, but it was the circumstances around the period that made her statement seem like the worst statement ever in the world. She posted on Twitter and a bid to defend Taylor Swift. She said, there are more important things to talk about. Why can't people use their voice for something that f***ing matters? A Twitter user asked her what she had done for the Black Lives Matter movement, a movement in support of black people and victims of police brutality. But Selena replied with, oh, lol, so that means if a hashtag something, I save lives? No, I could give two f***s about sides. You don't understand what I do. Because of this statement, a lot of people felt that she was tribalizing the BLM issue and turned on her. When she became a gay rights activist. Well, from what we know now with what went down with Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez, one can be sure that she is everything but gay and her long list of ex-boyfriends attests to this too. However, Selena became outspoken about the LGBTQ community after gay rights activist John Becker who started a change.org petition asked that Selena speak up for gay Russians when she gets there. In light of this, Russia, who at the time recently passed laws bearing advocacy of the LGBT community, banned Selena from entering the nation. According to the Moscow Times, officials made an entry for such artist difficult cases that restricted against the promotion of non-traditional sexual relationships. Selena was scheduled to perform in St. Petersburg on September 23rd and in Moscow on September 25th. But her visa was canceled, meaning a no-show to the prior scheduled events. That time she was called a cheat. Justin Bieber threatened fans that he would make his Instagram page private if they continued to attack his then-new girlfriend, Sophia Ritchie. But Gomez just couldn't help keep her mouth shut and had to cause a little commotion in the space by throwing shades at him in the comment section. Selena went on ahead to call him out for not keeping his private life private, not that it was ever private between the two of them, but oh well. She said, funny how the ones that she did multiple times are pointing the finger at the ones that are forgiving and supportive. She continued, no wonder fans are mad, sad, all love. And Justin couldn't let her get all the fun by shading him. 
He reported with his comments saying, I cheated. Oh, I forgot about you and Zayn. It's funny to see how people use me for attention and still try to point a finger at me this way. Sad. All love. I'm not one for anyone receiving hate. Hope you all can be kind to my friends and each other. And yes, I love my believers. With this, we can conclude on the 10 things which Selena would have had us forget about those tantalizing stories behind the main gist. So as we said at the beginning, do hit up the comment section and tell us which event you would forget about and why. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon, that way you'll never miss our interesting videos that are made just for you.